update. From here, make sure you click override button so that it doesn't affect the default value. Then choose is one off. So since we use this for events, select event and then reduce duplicate, click update. And now click say. Now we have created our news, sorry, the events news block. We need again click on the events news block and then click select block again, click on add display and rename this to support so that only support news will be displayed and change the taxonomy term to make sure again override support reduce duplicates click update and then save now only support news will be displayed there the one last block we have to create is community so rename the block to community then click update and then we change the taxonomy term to again override to community reduce duplicates click update and then save okay now we have created all three blocks but we want one page for the all the news to be displayed so select page from here then click on add display make sure when you click page not on the block section make sure before you select the page display you are on the default so that it doesn't affect like taxonomy term all taxonomy terms are coming so from page we just remove the taxonomy term because we want all the news to be displayed so we just click override and then remove that for for page we have to set the path so then we click a path and then choose news okay which is latest news latest hyphen news then click update we give a path next thing we have to do is create a menu if you want to display here like at the top so I just choose normal menu and then give it as mm, okay just news simple news then mouse over description is news then choose primary link don't worry about this this is reading in Japanese it's primary link it's a katakana okay primary link choose primary link from here then click update and then click save and you can see at the top here the news is there so when you click on now that mm, sorry so these are the only things we have to set up in the views next thing we have to go is go to administer again now go to the quick tabs and create a new quick tab from here give a name let's give latest news then on style Jiva cities we can set this style from the site configuration so and for Ajax Ajax means if you use the Ajax for loading the page means if you use Ajax only the first tab will be load in the if you open a page it doesn't load all the tabs if you don't use Ajax all the news will be loaded even if you use tabs and hide empty tabs so if you want to use hide empty tabs such as if you don't have a news in one category if you click on this option hide empty tabs it won't it won't display that category so I will show you what's the difference between both of that so now we just choose Ajax yes and load only the first tab on this page now we just give first is events events then choose latest news events 